Well today we're making Windsor chair spindles, making them out of ash. Again it's green ash wood and um, it's, I've cleaved the wood so I've, I've uh, broken it out of a log rather than sawn it out. I've used an axe to get it out. A lot stronger because the grain goes from top to tail and it really is strong. It may look thin but that, that would take a lot of pressure. And I'm using the Fred Lambert rotary plane. So what I've done at the moment, I'm just taking the timber down and got it roughly smooth with this one. This to have different sizes. So I'm going to now go in and use one at half an inch. I'm putting a slight bulb on the spindles because I think it's quite attractive. So half an inch, three eighths of an inch at the top and bulb section there. I'll start up my steel engine engine. It's really just like a large engine sharpener. Fairly quick. And we get this lovely long shading. There we are. So that's taking it down to that half an inch, and there we are. Nice long shavings. Um, I then use the three eighths grounder to make the sim at the end. Tracking plane, which is this one, which I'll use partly to smooth it and partly to shape it. Take it out of the chuck here. I've been turning this at about 200 RPM and I have this very simple chuck arrangement. Just literally two halves of a bit of metal. Just there. Grips it. And um, again using a half inch one I'm just going to do this by hand now. And this will be the end, but we'll go into the wooden chair seat. That's roughly right. Okay, so that gives us the rough shape. And now I'm going to go to the shave holes and give it a little clean up. Okay, well now we've got our rough shape spindle, so we're going to now get it to shape and give it a bit of smoothing as well. So I've got my shave holes. And what I'll do first of all is remove some of the bulky material using my little mini draw knife. Next to all I've got is a nice curved spoke shave. Shave horse is very good for this sort of thing. It grips the wood nicely, you can release it with your feet and then re tighten. That's more the sort of graduated shape I want to get. So I'll do the same on this piece now. The piece of wood is actually quite bent because it follows the natural grain of the wood. But you can follow the grain from the sort of tip right down to the base 
because it's been riven from a green bit of wood, from a tree basically, just while it's still wet. So it's about 20% moisture content at the moment. That's roughly to profile now. All I can do, I can keep working it and get it more and more refined. I also have a little scraper tool, which is quite nice, just for a bit of cleaning up. I quite like to leave some of the tool marks on the piece of wood, so I wouldn't really want to use sandpaper, I prefer to see the cut marks which gives it more of a handmade look, which obviously it is. chair spindle so it's a it's neighbour slightly smaller but um, same idea got them swelling out a little bit here which is quite nice going down to three eighths half an inch at the bottom there you are 